I work at the Capital Good Fund. I'm a financial coach. Um, and we have a little presentation that we would like to share with you today. So on that further note, um, I will share my screen and um, go along with the presentation. All right. Um, so we're going to talk to you a little bit about our financial uh, coaching program that we have here at the Capital Good Fund. Um, but first, just to tell you a little bit about who we are as an organization. Um, we are a nonprofit community. Um, we were established in 2008. We provide financial services to create pathway out of poverty through our two programs that we have, well, our financial coaching program and then through our personal loans as well. Um, I have a good fund. Um, like I mentioned, we do offer personal loans and this is a different department. Um, we offer anywhere from emergency loans, personal loans, weatherization loans, car loan purchase or car loan refinance and immigration loans. Um, if you have any questions about how the process of the loans work or um, how we come to the conclusion of approving um, anybody for a loan, you could feel free to visit our website um, www.goodfund.us. You can definitely learn a little bit more about um, the percentage for the loans or um, what more categories there are. Also, you could learn a little bit more about our coaching program. There's also a tab for that as well, if you have any further questions. Moving forward to our Financial Coaching Plus program, this program offers a one-on-one -on -one relationship with a coach for one year. We guide all the participants to improve their personal finances and build their credit. Our program um, is, costs $25 a month for 12 months. These payments that the participants will make on a monthly basis get reported um, positively to their credit report and that's how they build positive credit. Um, our financial coaching process is the following. So we touch base on these eight topics during um, our four sessions with our participants. Uh, we cover their goals. We review that within the next sessions as well. We create a budget that will work for the participant. Um, we do a softball of the credit report. We review that with them. We also talk about credit. Um, we talk about banking as well. Debt, we create a debt management plan that the uh, participants will follow along through this year process in hopes that they can um, you know, follow the, the, the plan and be able to get out of debt. Uh, we talk about savings, health, and reflection as well. So these topics, like I mentioned, we cover um, within four sessions when we meet. Now I wanted to play a little um, mini video that we like to uh, share with you guys. It's called the marshmallow test. And afterwards we'll explain um, the purpose of why um, we like to share this video. So I hope you enjoy it. It's really funny um, and I'll play it right now. Sure. All right, here's the deal. Marshmallow for you. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. When I come back, I'll give you another one, so then you'll have two. But stay in here and stay in the chair till I come back, okay? okay. All right. something and then I'll come back. It smells yummy. Uh, it smells really good.
can have it now or you can wait. Okay? I'll be back. Stay in the chair, okay? Okay. next question that'd be really great how many of you would have eaten the marshmallow i might have right. possibly well if that, if i was told yes go ahead and eat it <laughs> let's see why not <laughs> True, true. <laughs> All right. Um, I know all of us that have said no. I don't like marshmallows, so I won't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. It's a good test for me. <laughs> <laughs> no sweet tooth there, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I know for myself, I probably would have eaten it. I have very little patience when it comes to food, uh, and I love almost all kinds of food. Um, and I can't speak for Janet, though. <laughs> I think I probably would have wanted to try it a little bit and then maybe wait. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> um, <laughs> So the reason we show this video is because of what happens later on. They followed these children for 40 years. Um, and the people that didn't eat it right away and waited for that second marshmallow had higher SAT scores, um, lower levels of substance abuse, lower likelihood of obesity, better response to stress, and better social skills, um, which also tells us that these individuals also had a better financial standing because they were able to not only digest information, but also take it in and put their best foot forward um, and delayed that sort of spending gratification that comes with our finances. Awesome. If you guys think you read the entire study, we can definitely send you that link. Um, or if you just want to watch the video again and share it with others, we can send that to you as well. Awesome. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing that. Um, it was a funny video. Um, we always like to play it, play it at our presentations. All right. And as we continue with um, the financial coaching program and our process, like I mentioned earlier, um, it's a one-year relationship with your very own financial coach. So it's one-on-one. -on -one. You meet with the coach. You create your uh, personal action plan and you know you achieve your goals and we work with your personal finances as well um something that i didn't mention earlier on but within this year of partnership um with the um participant 
what we do is um, six months initially from where they started, we review their goals once again, check their progress. We do another soft pull with them um, of their credit report and then 12 months as well uh, from the initial date, we do the same thing. So we do, um, along the way, we do communicate, we do help them with their progress and we definitely uh, monitor the credit report and look at their achievements. All right, a little bit about the credit system or how it works. Um, you or us as the um, consumers out there, we open accounts, we make payments to um, all the creditors, whether it's a bank or collection agency or your credit card companies. Um, there in return, they report all those payments to the three credit bureaus, which is TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. From there, they collect all the information that they need, they resolve any disputes, and then they send it over to the Fair Isaac Corporation, which in return calculates and sells you your credit score. Um, unless a credit card um, company that you have offers it to you for free, um, that is the other option to know in your FICO score. And credit is important, not just for, you know, the basic things that we can think of like buying a home or getting a car or credit card, but credit is really important for insurance, um, getting the best interest rate, Nowadays, um, to get an apartment, you need a soft pull from your credit report. Even jobs can um, do soft pulls as well. Uh, getting a business loan, and like I mentioned, buying a house. Um, and every individual will have a personal FICO score depending on you know, their credit usage and what's on their credit report. And definitely your, the highest FICO score there is, is 800 and plus. Now, a few credit tips that we have for you um, today. Definitely very important, check your credit report um, at least once a year from the annualcreditreport.com. It will not have your FICO score, but it will definitely have all the information on it. Um, definitely, it's good to take a look at it to see if there's anything that's inaccurate or anything that it, you need to dispute or even victim of identity theft. Um, it sounds scary, but um, it could really happen to anybody. So definitely, um, we suggest doing that at least once a year. Another tip is to um, always make the minimum payments on your credit cards and loans on time because your payment history does um, accumulate to 35% of your credit score. And also um, pay down your balances to no more than 30% um, borrow of your available credit um, because 30% um, of the amounts you owe is what goes towards your um, credit score as well. Uh, we continue with the credit tips. Um, does anybody know what a hard inquiry is versus a soft inquiry? Anybody would like to share? Um, a hard inquiry? Uh, it affects your credit score and the um, soft inquiry doesn't? Correct, yes. So hard inquiries would be anytime um, you are applying for a credit card, a car loan, or a mortgage. Um, any of these are hard inquiries will affect your credit score a couple of points um, for each inquiry made you know, within the, uh, 30 days of each other. Um, soft inquiries, like you mentioned, yes, they do not affect your credit score. Um, so very important to limit those hard inquiries to, you know, twice a year, possibly. It comes as 10% of your credit score. Um, also, if you have like a credit card that you opened 10 years ago, and as long as that credit card is in good active um, standing, and you make your payments on time every single month, then we recommend not closing that account because um, the longer you have um, your credit cards open or your loans, the longer your credit history is. And that just looks better for your credit report because it's 15% of your FICO score. And last but not least, um, having a mixture or diversity in your profile, in your credit profile, meaning a mixture of loans and credit cards, very important that counts as 10% of your um, credit score. Um, and not all debt is considered bad debt. Um, good debt is a tool. 
and bad debt is a barrier, as we all know. Uh, some examples of some good debt would be buying a home, as long as all those payments are on time, paying for college, and even business loans. Anything that would be considered bad debt would be any debt that you cannot afford, uh, rent to own debt, or payday loans. And then credit cards are right in the middle ground because depending on whether, if you pay down your balances to no more than 30% than of your total available credit, then you are, you're good, it's a middle ground. But then if you start using more than 30% of your total available credit, um, then it starts hurting your, um, your credit score. And then that's when it's not considered such a good debt. So that's why they're right in the middle. All right. Um, very important to avoid predatory uh, services. Uh, they're really out there just to get your money. Um, payday lenders, rent to own stores, prepaid debit cards, check cashiers, definitely you would wanna stay away from these people. Um, one example of like a rent to own store, you take out a TV that initially costs $220, uh, but then they tell you that you need to make 78 payments of $10. So once you're done making all these payments, you notice that the total interest that you end up paying for this TV is $560. So now you paid more in interest than what the actual TV costs you. And unfortunately, um, these uh, rental and stores can get away with that and also payday lenders. Um, with payday lenders, you can initially start with a loan of like $325, make those 78 payments, example, if you were doing $10 a month. You end up paying almost double just on interest rates, um, because they can get away with charging ridiculously amount of um, interest rate. I know that in Rhode Island, um, legally they can charge up to 261% um, the payday lenders. And that's not uh, counting any other state that could possibly charge a higher amount. So definitely um, lenders to stay away from. Um, I know that we talked a little bit about a program and how it works. Um, our first meeting, our first uh, financial coaching meeting is free with no obligation. We still cover um, the topics of your goals and your budget. So that is, like I said, free of charge for the first session. After the second session, then that's when we um, begin to look at the credit builder um, loan and get the payments organized and all that stuff. Um, right now, because of COVID, we are only doing um, virtual sessions. However, before COVID, we were able to take in-person or remote sessions as well, based on the location. But right now, like I mentioned, we are only doing virtually um, because of COVID. Um, so why sign up for financial coaching? Um, you, like I said, you will work together one year with your coach um, they will help you achieve and work towards your goals. Um, you know, they'll provide you with knowledge and encouragement and of course, no judgment whatsoever. Um, we are here to guide you. And just a, a couple of examples of what clients have seen um, from completing our program. We have had clients who had an increase roughly in their monthly income of a hundred and something dollars um, because they were able to um, we were able to guide them to create a budget that works for them, that they're able to track their expenses and ways to reduce um, certain expenses. Um, definitely clients have seen an increase in their FICO score up to like 67 points um, just from working uh, with our program. Clients are also better able to afford um, food or doctor visits, once again, going back to the budget and obviously the debt management plan that we um, help them along the way. Like I mentioned, right now we're only doing um, online sessions um, with participants, but um, after COVID, we hope to resume the in-person coaching. Um, coaching is available to couples as well, um, as well as individually. So if you know, and a couple doesn't necessarily mean um, romantic couples, it could be um, you and your friend or you and your mother or whoever you want to count as a couple um, to do the um, sessions. And of course, we guide you towards achieving your goals and, you know, getting that uh, working throughout the 12 months. All right. Um, 
a little example how our virtual meetings work. We use Zoom just like we're using right now. We would meet um, with the client here. We would share our screens um, and review the curriculum with the clients and the credit report as well. Um, any important sensitive documents, we send those over through an encrypted email. So every information is protected. Um, and same thing with our meetings. With our meetings, we also have the password protection and all that stuff. Um, it's nice and protected. All right. Um, here we have a client story from uh, one of our participants, Maria. And Maria had a lot of expenses that were piling up and she really needed to create a financial plan right away. Um, after hearing about a program, she decided to give it a try. Um, along with her coach, they develop a budget, a debt repayment plan, and of course, it boosted her credit score. Um, the best part of her experience was decreasing her financial issues in a short amount of time. She told us that if I were to do it on my own, I don't know how I would have started. And just like Maria, we have many, many other um, client stories of, um, you know, all the clients that we have helped um, tremendously just by, you know, creating a budget as simple as that, or just looking at the credit report, helping them dispute anything that's there, or helping them settle their collections um, from all the way from achieving like their goals, whether it's the short-term goals or long-term goals that they have. But definitely um, many, many more stories that we have heard throughout our time. Um, so a couple of ways that you can sign up for financial coaching is you can submit an online inquiry at our website, www.goodfund.us slash coaching. You can also call us. Um, we do have an English and a Spanish extension, um, which is on the screen. 301 is our English extension and 401 is our Spanish extension. We also have a number that you can text us, English and Spanish as well. Um, so definitely I encourage um, if anybody else has any questions, um, feel free to stick around for the uh, Q&A. We would be more than happy to answer any questions that, that you have regarding our program. And I believe that is my last slide. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, allowing Isabel and I to share this presentation with you. Um, and then we, of course, are open for any questions that you mentioned. Thank you very much, Janet. We did get a request. Um, people are asking if they, if you might be willing to share your slides um, for the information on them or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can send them over as a PDF. I was gonna suggest that. Okay, if, if uh, when they send them to me, um, those attendees, people who are attending, I'd be happy to forward them out to you as well. So if anyone would like to ask any questions right now, I'm gonna open up the floor you're welcome to unmute yourself and go ahead and uh, ask away. Uh, do you guys charge for fee? Do you have a fee you charge clients? Yeah, so or it's charge, free. Uh, the, the, it's a fee for service. So the charge is $15 a month for the year. Um, so it's a, hundred, a total of $180 um, for an individual and $18.75 for a couple. And as Janet mentioned, a couple doesn't have to be romantic couple. It can just be two people that are doing coaching. My other question is, do you have to be in the coaching program before you get a loan or anybody can just apply for a loan? Anyone can apply for a loan. Um, there is no requirement to do coaching prior to getting a loan. You could actually get a loan and do coaching at the same time if you wanted to. Okay. I, um, it, it's a program only open to people in a, in like the Providence area. Do you? I know you're not, you're doing everything by Zoom right now, but are you all over the state or? Anyone from all over the state can come and visit our office to do an in-person meeting in Providence. Um, so we are open all over the state, uh, usually people that are like in North Kingstown or Newport or Somerset or even Swansea, Seekonk kind of area, um, do virtual coaching or sometimes they'll come in for like the first session or the second session and then finish the last few sessions 
virtually. So it's a very flexible way of coaching, um, but we do serve the entire state. Okay. We do have one question in the chat box. Um, what was the uh, www line to check your credit score annually and is that a soft inquiry it is definitely a soft inquiry um it's a government website so it's annualcreditreport.com could you spell fanual sure a n n u a l oh annual i'm sorry i misheard what you said no worries so okay and just to remind um, everybody, it will not have a FICO score, but it will have all the information on your credit score. Okay. Um, and also, um, just to go back to the previous question, yes, we serve obviously the state of Rhode Island. We also serve um, Florida, uh, Massachusetts as well. Um, so in case you know anybody who possibly li lives in any of these states, um, we could also do that as well. And Illinois. In Illinois, yes. So since um, COVID, um, I know that the state, uh, the government has opened up, like I guess you can check your credit report um, as early as like a week, like once a week or something like that. Is that still remain true or? It does. So you can check your credit report on all three credit bureaus website um, until the federal government says no. <laughs> um, there is no deadline as of right now that they've provided us. So it's up to the consumer as to how often they want to check it. Um, if I'm being completely honest, doing it every week is not helpful because I think don't change within a week. The minimum it takes to create change in your credit report is 30 days. And that is if you're disputing something. Um, if you're looking for a drastic change, in credit score, what you want to do is wait six months. Um, and that's how you get that score or, or that change. So another question is um, actually two questions. One is um, why do the different companies sometimes have a variation in their credit scores? And the other one question is what is the best way to raise your credit credit score if you've paid off your old debt but still have a low score? Is there a certain amount of time for that to increase or whatever? Um, to address the first question, I love this question um, because I learned about it while working at the Capital Good Fund. So we know that there's such thing as a FICO score. There are the corporation, the three credit bureaus. There's something else that Credit Karma, Credit Wise, Credit Sesame, all those free credit scores sort of apps use called a Vantage 3.0 score. The Vantage 3.0 score was created by all three credit bureaus, but it is not recognized by all lenders. So the reason you have a difference in score from a FICO score to like your Credit Karma score is because they have a different algorithm they're using when it comes to that free score. Because otherwise companies have to pay for your Fair Isaac Corporation score. Does that answer that question? Yes. All right. And uh, in regards to how fast to increase your credit score, I think I'm gonna let Janet take this one. Sure. Um, so if you pay down your old debt and like you're just kind of waiting to build up credit, it really depends what's on your credit report. So like if you only have credit cards and you don't have any loans, believe it or not, that does count like a small part of your credit score possibly not increasing. Um, it fits vice versa. You only have a loan, but you don't have a credit card, the same thing. Like um, you need a little balance of both, but also in regards to like you, let's say you pay down your debt, but your like your debt in general, but your credit cards are still afloat, your loans, you know, you still have a good chunk amount. It's really when you start bringing down your balances, your credit score will start um, increasing. But definitely with any, like Isabel said earlier, with anything that you are trying to see a change on, you're definitely going to see that within a couple of months mark, um, just because of the way um, your credit is revolving. And if you want to see an instant credit increase, um, 
we talked a little bit about that 30% credit utilization. If you bring that down to like 9%, wink, wink, um, <laughs> then you will see a drastic jump of your credit score. Now, Fair Isaac Corporation does not share their algorithm as to how high that would be, but we have seen that that, that is probably the most drastic way. Does that answer that second question? Um, I believe so, Based unless I hear from the, the person who's asking. There's another question. If you're a co-signer on a home loan, it shows up as your debt. Yes. Does that count towards your 30% credit limit and does it affect your credit score? All right. If you have a home loan, you have a mortgage. So it does not count as your 30% because when they're referencing to 30% credit utilization, they're talking about credit cards. Um, does that help your score? Yes. If people are paying on time, that definitely helps and you are considered a, a co-borrower. So under your credit report, um, under responsibility, you'll see a giant C on there. Okay. And of course, if they're not paying, um, then definitely that will affect your credit score as well. And if for some reason they default on the loan, then you'll be responsible for paying for that loan as well. Right. Do we have any other questions? These are all good questions. I don't see any additional questions. I would like to ask um, Estrella if you could send me your contact info just because I didn't have you on our original list. I'm glad you joined us today. Any other last minute questions? Yeah, so if you are in the field of um, financial coaching and uh, the client that you're working with is asking like what's the best free um, way they can follow their score, would you recommend um, Credit Karma or any of the other apps that have like the, the free, um Yeah, if they want to follow their score, I would say use whatever free service they have available to them. So if they can have access to Credit Karma, go for it. Because what they'll see is like the increase or decrease in numbers. It won't be exact. Um, so I would recommend if a person is looking, let's say, to buy a house in six months, um, I would say buy your score once and then buy it again at six months um, from Fire, Fair Isaac Corporation. But if you're just looking to monitor your information within your report, as well as maybe the increase or decrease in score, go right ahead and use Credit Karma. Um, Experian, which is one of our three credit bureaus, also has a free app um, that provides your score once and then like it'll send you alerts if anything changes or, or things like that. Cool. One last question. Sorry. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm happy. I love questions. Yeah, no, I love this kind of thing. Um, so when it comes to um, like um, Credit score, I think I lost my train of thought. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I lost my question, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, you can think about it again. Go ahead. One last thing I'd like to mention um, is that if you do have questions for us or you just wanna find out more information, you go onto our website and click about us all of our email addresses phone numbers and extensions are listed there um, so if you're not comfortable asking the question now during the presentation you can definitely go on our website and just shoot us um, an email as a team or as individuals well if there are no more questions i'd like to thank isabel and janet for taking the time to chat with us today uh, as Isabel said, she's going to forward the PDF copy of the slides to me. And when I receive it, I will pass them on to anyone. I'll pass them on to everyone who's joined us today. And then you can, again, as they said, um, reach either one of them through the Capital Good Fund. I suppose you're right on the internet, I suppose, as well, on the internet? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, folks, thank you. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Isabel. And thank you everyone for joining today. And hopefully we'll see you again uh, next month. Our topic is, um, our subject will be September 8th. Our, I mean, our date will be September 8th. And uh, the topic for next month is, I believe, hold on, let me give you the right um, information here. It's going to be on adult and children um, and adolescents and stress and stress management, especially during these kind of stressful times. So I think we'll have some very good information to share then. So just watch our newsletter for registration information. Thanks everybody for joining today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank care. you, very informative. Thank you. You're welcome.